Hi guys, I'm Brooke and this is Pippa and we live full time in my Honda CRV and I just am going to jump into it today and tell you guys how I made my bed. I don't think I've actually explained it anywhere on my channel how I've done my bed, maybe in like a few clips or something, um, but I'm going to fully do like a bed breakdown today. Now, this is not my first bed that I had in the Honda CRV. I used to have both the front and passenger seat and my bed used to lay across the back, just over the back seats folded down. Um, and that was almost a year ago when I first moved into the car, like May 2021. <laughs> But over time, my needs changed and I really adjusted to the car. And now I have no passenger seat and no back seats. And this is how my bed is set up. If you want to see my first bed build, it's actually my very first video I posted on YouTube. And I also show like my window covers and stuff in that video. But for this video, I am just going to be talking about like the bed platform and everything. And I did this like remodel, I believe last July or August, I can't remember, um, but it was initially behind my passenger seat. So if you watch my like first car tour I did, this is still the same platform, but after I took out my passenger seat, I just slid everything forward so I could fit my fridge in the back. And that is what you see in my second car tour that I posted not too long ago. So I'll link all those below if you want to see like the evolution of Sheila the Honda um, but I'm gonna go into just like a breakdown so I really wanted this kind of like side layout because I wanted the space behind the driver's seat so I could store clothes I could have a space to kind of like like an entryway or something and I wanted a space for Pippa to be able to jump in the car um, that wasn't up onto my seats and I have duct tape floors back there and so um, she can jump straight onto those floors so for paws are muddy or something like that it's much easier to clean up than just straight into bed or straight onto my seats which is kind of why I did it that gives me a place to change it gives me a place to put my feet if I want to sit in the back and I also wanted to be able to sit up on this bed so that's why I did that as well having it set up sideways works way better for me than having it completely across the back yes I have a smaller bed but I do get more like functional space and I really enjoy that part of it so for both of my beds for the first bed platform and for this one, I got the wood at Homeco in Flagstaff, Arizona. They cut both pieces of wood for me, the big platform and now this smaller one. And they were different dimensions, so I couldn't reuse it. I do have the big board in uh, my storage unit actually still, just in case I ever needed it. But they also got the legs and everything for me too. So the second I drove off, I could literally build it in their parking lot <laughs> and I had a bed right away. So it's, this is a very easy build. I was already living in the car at the time. This is not something that... Um, you need to shop for or anything like that and it's very homemade and you know i had to do what i had to do when i was living on the road so but thank you to homeco and flagstaff um, for helping me out i did go i'm sure you can go to lowe's or home depot to get your wood cut as well but i went to the ones in flagstaff and i waited and waited and waited for somebody and nobody came to help me and so that's why i sought out a smaller kind of like mom and pop lumber yard so what everybody wants to know is the dimensions of the bed and like i said i'm in a 2004 honda crv so these dimensions may not work for you you really need to kind of measure everything yourself and make sure that this is going to work for you but for me i first did measurements based off of camping cots um because i was originally going to order a camping cot mattress which didn't happen but i'll explain to you what i did and so my bed is 25 inches wide by 70 inches long. For reference, I'm only 5'3", so it fits me just fine and I actually have more than enough space. The legs in the back are 8 inches off of the ground and the ones in the front are 16. So I have a completely level bed and then with that 8 inches I can still slide things to store underneath the bed, which is really, really nice. I also have this little piece of wood in the front 
of the board to keep the mattress from sliding too far forward. Now that I don't have the passenger seat, sometimes things just kind of slide around and I just don't want it too far forward in my space so I can still use my cup holder and get into my glove box if I needed to and everything like that. Well, after I changed up the layout of the bed, I used to just use foam toppers, but I upgraded last December to a Ikea mattress. So there is the Underling Children's <laughs> Ikea foam mattress that is 27 by 63 inches and it fits me perfectly because like I said, I'm only 5'3". So I can sleep on it perfectly, especially because I'm a side sleeper. I don't really like mind if my feet kind of kick off the edge or something. But at the end of the day, I just wanted something a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more sturdy than just layering foam toppers. So for $70, I just went and got the Ikea mattress eventually. But like I said, I got that last December. So I really haven't had it that long. I've done most of this time with only foam toppers. So if you don't have the budget for an additional mattress, don't worry because you can totally do it by layering foam toppers and it works just fine. The foam toppers I have are the original ones that I got at the very beginning and they are full size. They're just from Target. They're $35 a piece, I believe. And I got the full size so I could fold them in half because they're only an inch and a half thick. So it makes, you know, a three inch extra um padding mine are a little <laughs> discolored because i have used them for an entire year now um but i try to layer them different each time so either like i flip them different ways or i try to keep them as fluffy as possible and i do air them out regularly i know that condensation is an issue you don't want to have mold or anything like that and i've never had a problem this entire time because i regularly air them out whenever i have like a nice sunny day I just set them outside and let them air out and then refold everything and I feel like I have like a nice fresh bed and then I use a fitted sheet to keep everything together I just have mine off of Amazon it's like the cotton Amazon basics it's really easy I get it in a twin size and it fits really well I do have a little bit of extra room in it, but I'd rather have extra room to keep that foam expanded a little bit more than something that's really tight that's going to like compress the foam down. I want it to be nice and airy. Then I have my comforter and my like fleece kind of blanket from just Walmart. I got while I was already on the road uh, because I also have my winter comforter, which is really bulky and it's in a queen size. And I'm actually planning on putting that into storage because it is just getting too bulky for in here. Um, now that I have just basically like a less than twin sized bed. <laughs> My winter comforter also, I can roll it up and tuck it into the space behind and use it kind of like a headboard when it's not so cold. But like I said, I plan on putting it into storage because it is just not really serving me at this point. And um, winter is over. I don't need that many layers. And I do plan on getting another twin sized comforter that is a little thinner that I can store in the car without taking up so much space. I do have a little bit of a gap on the side of the door. So I use a body pillow to fill it in, which is really nice because Pippa, when Pippa sleeps with me she really likes to sleep on that body pillow so I let her have full reign of it when she wants to like sleep and cuddle up next to me then I just put my regular pillow and my side sleeper little pillow it's this gray one right here it's my favorite side sleeper pillow I'll leave it linked it was my pandemic splurge but if you are a side sleeper it's amazing um for your neck. I have not had any problems since I've been on the road with neck pain. And then my clothing drawers actually slide in perfectly to wedge between the wall of the car and the side of the bed. So when I'm sleeping at night, my mattress doesn't slide out too far. So nothing slides like off of the bed platform and I don't wake up like stuck in my gap of my door or anything like that. Um, so everything like fits in here really well, like a nice little puzzle <laughs> right now. And I really enjoy it. When I don't have my winter blanket, I do leave the bed pushed back farther. So I have more room up in the front. But like I said, I have to put it into storage first. But that's kind of everything on the breakdown of 
my bed. If you have any questions, um, I would love to answer them below or do like a follow up. But I figured I'd do a really quick video on just like the bed breakdown and how I did it and maybe give somebody an idea for the future. This was something really easy relatively inexpensive i didn't obviously do all of it at once i think the wood for the bed was maybe like 50 or 60 dollars and then the foam toppers were 70 when i bought both of them at the same time and then the ikea mattress was 70 so i did a like $120 kind of build at the beginning and then added that mattress later on so this was right around 200 bucks and i know that that's kind of expensive and it could definitely be just like on the floor if you wanted to, but I wanted to be able to store things underneath the bed. So that's why I did it this way. And yeah, that's kind of everything about my bed. I always say like getting your sleeping plan figured out is the best way for road trips or travel. Because if you are sleeping poorly when you're on the road, um, it really just makes such a big difference. And when you're not sleeping well things just get stressful and you just need to be able to sleep really well and i do so i know a lot of people say like it couldn't be comfortable or you should get a real bed but i do have a real bed with a real mattress <laughs> i don't try to do the air mattress thing that would be really cold i think and i would be worried about pippa popping it or something because she is always sleeping like this back there <laughs> and i love my bed i don't have a problem with it at all if I was sleeping that poorly on it. I would have not made it this long in the car. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps answer any questions about my bed. And if you have any more, leave them below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.